Good morning. My name is Dr. Joseph Agu, the High Commissioner of the Republic of Ghana to the Commonwealth of Australia. At the onset, I wish to acknowledge the convenience of the 19th edition of the Africa Down Undermining Conference and to commend participants as well as as well for making it either virtually or in person, despite the challenges presented by the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic. Being my first attendance, I am delighted to be part of this important forum, which brings together Australian African businesses and government officials to deliberate on Australia's interests in Africa's mining and energy business. By the end of my presentation, I hope more Australian investors in the extractive sector will be making their way to Ghana. Mining industry performance. It is a fact that Ghana is well endowed with substantial and top quality mineral resources. The major ones being gold, diamond, manganese, and bauxite. Gold is a pre predominant mineral produced in the country, accounting for over 90% of all minerals revenues annually over the past two decades. Since 2019, Ghana has displaced South Africa to become Africa's number one gold producing country and is also the world's number six gold producer, according to the World Gold Council half-year report for 2021. Undoubtedly, mining is therefore an important contributor to the economy of Ghana and a significant part of our national export earnings and GDP. Under the administration of His Excellency, President Nana Adodangwa Akufu Ado, the mining sector has been positioned to be a driver of sustainable development. This has been done within the framework of Ghana's coordinated program of economic and social development policies to create jobs and equal opportunities for all. Through the implementation of key policy initiatives, including diversification of the mining sector, strengthening of linkages, improving productivity through training and appropriate technology transfer, and more importantly, addressing setbacks to productivity in the mining sector. The government has made investments in the mining sector very, very attractive. Currently, Ghana has 14 large-scale operation mines comprising 12 gold mines, one bauxite and one manganese mines. These companies include Australian companies such as Andamus Resources Limited, Azuma Resources, Noble Gold, Owari Mines Company Limited, BCM, Baminko, and uh, Pesu's Mining Limited. Overall performance. Ghana remains an attractive investment destination in Africa. Measures implemented by the government of His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Kufuado to boost the investment climate includes the reduction in the cost of doing business, improvement environment, making the Ghanaian economy not only one of the most business-friendly economies in Africa, but also one of the fastest growing economies in the world between the years 2017 and 2020, and averaging annual GDP growth rates of 7% for those years. The presence of global corporations, such as Twitter, which is establishing its African headquarters in Ghana, Google's first African artificial intelligence center, and the renowned Norwegian energy company, Acker, are at all attest to the availability or viability of the business environment in Ghana. 
What is more, Ghana is further privileged to play host to the Secretariat of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, which represents currently a market of some 1.2 billion people. Major challenges in the mining industry and mitigation factors. There is no doubt that challenges exist in the mining sector in Ghana, which militates against the re realization of its full potential. These include the maintenance of illegal mining and its attendant consequences such as environmental degradation. There have also been issues surrounding regulation and licensing, but many of these regulatory issues are being dealt with and have been reduced to the various minimum. To achieve sustainability in the mining industry, the government through the Ghana Landscape Restoration and Small Scale Mining Projects is addressing the illegalities associated with the small scale mining and to make their operations more sustainable. The Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Abu Jinapo, has reaffirmed the government's determination to resolve challenges in the small scale mining sector in Ghana as part of modernizing the sector. The Minerals Commission of Ghana has introduced the digitalization program and yield services in the small scale mining processes. The service is expected to be fully functional this coming September 2021. Investment opportunities. In a bid to reduce over dependence on traditional minerals, the government is promoting investments into the exploration and exploitation of other minerals, such as solar salt, granite, lithium, clay minerals, and base metals. Investment opportunities equally exist in the exploration of uh, activated carbon and granite, as well as for mineral mine support services. Ghana's mining industry remains very attractive due to the following reasons. One, political stability and dynamic economy. Two, attractive investment framework. Three, well-structured institutions. Four, deep, deep in transparency in the management of the mining sector within the framework of EIDI. Five, availability of geoscientific information for successful mining. And six, improvements in the economy and good governance initiative, initiatives, such as the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative and the Kimberley Process Certification Schemes, to name just a few. Invitation to Australian companies. As mentioned earlier, several Australian companies are already operating in various capacities in the Republic of Ghana. These include a resource expansion drilling program by Cardinal Resources and feasibility studies on its Namdini Gold project. The Ghanaian mining sector continues to present significant opportunities for Australian mining equipment and technology and services for the transfer of technology and expertise. This area remains a major grasp for international investors and which Australian investors may wish to seriously consider. And in conclusion, I want to put on record that Ghana is taking the necessary steps to leverage its huge mineral resources with the view to accelerating its economic development and creating more jobs for its team and youth. To achieve this, we will continue to partner with Australian investors and business community. The government of the Republic of Ghana therefore invites you to join hands with Ghanaians to create wealth from the mineral resources of the country for benefits that will be both equitable and rewarding to all who participate. Thank you very much for your kind attention.